you just mentioned Jason Derulo just left here, and your impression of him was uh, was what? Was it? it smelled amazing. Okay. <laughs> he does have a certain cologne. It was fantastic. I don't know. It's possible because he is a successful man uh, and a you know a two way threat, a singer, and now an author. Perhaps he's wearing Otani's cologne, which was. On the scoreboard yes. multiple times last that's night. Re- that's real? Kose. Yes. Oh, yeah. The, he is here. It's answer. Shohei Otani's wow. cologne. Oh, yeah. oh, I yeah. had no yeah. idea. You yeah. want to talk Holy about smokes. the stuff that they are, they had up on the screen. It's nuts. The cat food. Oh, my God. Dude, <laughs> I took a photograph of that, too. <laughs> the one. <laughs> there it is. It is. Shuru. <laughs> Shuru. What? Japan's yes. number yes. one cat tree. <laughs> Yeah, this was on the scoreboard when we did the, I did the over and I was over done. and over again. Oh man, I didn't notice that one. So I Richard, did you, that. did you have more fun watching the game or taking well, the pictures? No, of the I'm scoreboard? just taking in like what is the scene for Otani here? It's nuts. And they they, they are they are promoting his cologne. I, I have no that. idea. You know, you, they're, they're, I I looked it up. What is his cologne? Kose. And it's Kose, and uh, it's it's not just a cologne. It's apparently uh, a lifestyle it's choice. skin care oh. and stuff, too. There yeah. it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. For body, mind, and spirit. How nice. do we not know about this? It's, need- I looked at Shoei Otani is more than a uniquely gifted baseball player. His passion for the game <laughs> runs so deep, the joy he feels he shares with everyone around him. And basically, his gift is like, I smell great. I pitch great. I run great. Hit great. I hit, hit great. great. Yeah. I smell great. great. Or... Is it in a different order? You've got you've got to smell good. Yep. To hit good. Well, like Dion, you know, says well. look good, feel, feel good, good, play yeah. good, eat play good. good. Exactly. Yeah. It starts with the the scent. Right. The scent of Otani. <laughs> um, you know, he singled to start, then he stole a base, his fifteenth stolen base in game one fourteen. Set a record. Oof. Broke Ken Griffey Jr.'s record last night for forty home runs and fifteen stolen bases. In just 114 games, breaking Ken Griffey Jr.'s record for fastest in a season to 40 home runs and 15 stolen bases by three full games. Wow. And he doubled as well. He doubled last night on a ball, I believe, just out of memory serves because I was too busy taking photographs of interesting (laughs) facts on on the scoreboard and and his cologne and and (laughs) Japan's number one cat food. Again, we're we're just going to have to take him at their word. Um, <laughs> I do believe the ball was hit to the right of the second baseman. And he legged it out for a double. All right, I'm watching it right now. It's a grounder up the middle. It was a 106 exit VLO and yeah. it turned it into a double. 29 feet per second sprint speed. I have a it's photograph nuts. of him rounding first <laughs> and going to second. The reason why I have that photograph is because of the interesting factoid that was on the screen. The slam dunk Japanese sports manga series is his favorite comic. That's what's up there as he's doubling, as he's legging out an extra base hit, and he scored uh, the tying run. And eventually, uh, you know, the person who knocked him in, my buddy Mickey Moniak. Moniak. Oh, is that right? One, oh, I think Moniak is the one. No, Moniak is the one who uh, Renfro knocked him in. Oh. Moniak's the one who got the, uh, the go-ahead run for the Angels. Only... <laughs> The top of and the this nine. is again the top of the ninth. I mean, <laughs> you, so they, they, the, uh, the Angels gave up six in the ninth. They were up three two and gave up six in the ninth Oof. and lost. Oh. So the bottom line is when it all comes down to it, just to give you a full on scope of going to an Angels game, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how, potentially, it doesn't matter how many free pops of Shohei's cologne they're going to put up <laughs> or the fact that they are promoting Japan's favorite cat food for cats. I'm assuming humans um, notice. Um, there, I also took a photograph of what looked like some sort of anime figure. The, the race that, you know, in the Yankees and Yankee Stadium is about the subways that race, you know, mm-hmm. the dot races. Yes. It was... Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man. Pac-Man wins. There it goes. I took that photograph. <laughs> uh, so, so there's, there's. I mean, everything is geared towards not just Otani, but the Japanese fan that is coming to the game. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Sandland. 
Nice. Of the Banda Namco uh, a company that I think creates Miss, uh, Ms. Pac-Man. And I do believe Dig Dug, I think, oh. as well. Dig Dug. I want to go back game. in the day. Yeah. I believe, I mean, I'm, I might not be completely accurate here. Well, just what, the fact that you brought it up. But what's totally accurate is this. It doesn't matter how much the Angels are catering to not only Otani's off-field sense and interests, and also the fans that are coming to the game and then the dollars and cents that they're going to offer him if they're going to keep on losing games. Seven in a row. Now, eight behind the Blue Jays in the wild card race. And what did Phil Nevin told Susie last Friday? Trout's taking dry swings this week. Like he's got to take wet swings. We got to go. Like it's <laughs> it's time. He needs to be back. <laughs> you know. And so yeah. that's what I was thinking. He was he singled, he doubled, he stole a base. He smells good, and he scores a run. And the streets. Angels look like they're going to finally break their six game losing streak and then give up six in the ninth. And if he's sitting there going. I, I, I see that they're, you know, they're selling my cologne and, and the fans here at the stadium are bringing in dollars. And I'm bringing fans in 30-some on thousand last night on a Monday night. There were a lot of Giants fans there. But, man. Otani on sneaky triple crown watch. Of course he is. He's third in average, second in RBIs, and, of course, leads in Oof. home runs. And then there's his whole, you know, pitching stats. Come on. But... That's my coverage of Giants at Angels here on the Rich Eisen Show. A true professional. Thank you, sir. I bring photos with me. Not just a food. None of food. How about that? Oh, wait a minute. Cat food. My bad. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 